Hi, Charles here. Well, I moved the van to the backyard. We're in that heat wave. I think it was 95, 96 yesterday. Today is about the same. But I wanted to tell you about a new camera from Halo View. Thanks for watching. Well, if you've been watching my videos for any length of time, back a year ago, actually it was a year ago, April, this is about the middle of June right now, um, I did a review of a camera that looks exactly like this. It was the Halo View Handycam. And in that video, I showed two Handycams in use, and I put them in various places on the van, and I was showing how you could use them uh, primarily as a security system. And they're great. I have a friend right now using one of those cameras in Alaska, so he can put it on the outside of his uh, camper, and he can see what's going on, like if there's a grizzly about to eat him, or anything else. And so um, uh, I saw recently that Halo View had added a new camera and I went on Amazon, there were no reviews because it just came out in April. So it's not been out released very long. And so I'm still learning about it. I've got some printouts here to help me. But the other camera is called the Handycam and this is the Halo View Night King all-in-one Starlight backup camera. Yes, Starlight. The other camera works great in broad daylight, and at night it turns night vision, so everything turns black and white, but you can still see very, very well. Um, this has the same magnetic base. It's got the same lithium battery that you recharge. It connects wirelessly, and there are four or five different monitors, and I'll, I'll put them on the screen, that this can work with. So you turn it on and you pair it with the monitor, and I don't really need to show that, but there's a, a button you push and the monitor sees it. And so I've already paired two of these. They sent me two of these. So yes, uh, these were given to me. I did ask to uh, review them because I noticed there were no videos out at all on YouTube. So I thought this would be a great time to, to do that. Um, so what's great about this is, as I said, it's full color. And so um, tonight, It'll be pretty dark back here, but probably darker than a lot of campgrounds for sure. Uh, but this works in incredibly low light. Now, if you get in a situation where it's below this incredibly low number, then you can turn on, um, there are some lights that come on. Uh, you don't, your eyes don't really see it, but it can help fill up the scene. But you almost never need that because uh, this uses a, um, a technology from Sony called Starviz. I don't know if they say Starviz, but I'm sure it stands short for Star vision so it works in incredibly low light and so uh, what I'm going to be doing tonight is I'm going to uh, do a couple things I'm going to set these up and you can see what it looks like and I'll take the camera first and show you what it looks like with my camera how dark it is and there's a street light way over there and there's a, a neighbor back over here that has a pretty big light that shines out on the field over here but we'll see how that affects but it's going to be pretty dark back here but I see these uh, for security purpose now, they have a really strong uh, magnetic base, and if you have a fiberglass uh, camper or uh, whatever you have, they have a, a metal plate that they've been proved from the original one that has um, high bond value adhesive tape, and it really holds on. But personally, just be, I'm just very cautious. I mean, you can't believe how tight I have everything uh, tied down up on my roof rack, and I double check all my bolts and everything. Um, I really worry about liability and so um, you can use these as you wish but personally um, I would not feel comfortable driving down the road because you just don't know what kind of bumps you're going to hit and as strong as this is I don't know if it, you could ever say it's impossible it could get knocked off and um, I, you, won't, you don't want to lose this these are uh, these and on Amazon and at the Halo View site they're $199 so uh, you don't want to be these be bouncing off for you I'm sure you could come up with a way, because people will come up with a way, uh, where you could tether this somewhere, like on this ladder or on my roof rack. If I wanted to do that, I, I would find a way uh, with some aluminum. Or a tie, I, don't, I would have to have something really rock solid for me to really trust it. But um, I would use these once I'm in position somewhere, is, is how I foresee it. So I'm going to turn this away from the sun here. Um, so I will be showing these two in use tonight. And... Um, I'll be giving you some, some more basic information, but it, it's a 720p, 120-degree angle. Um, if this is fully discharged, I think it takes an hour or two to charge it back up. And uh, I, as of right now, I just got it, so I don't really know how long this battery lasts. But the way I see it would be used for me is to put, decide where I want the cameras and 
uh, the monitor, I could ha actually have it off. And if I hear something outside, I can just reach over and turn on that, that monitor that I have just for this, not the monitor up front, a separate monitor. It would be plugged into one of my 12 volt ports and I could turn it on, it'll immediately pair and I could see what's going on out here. So I'll come back out here tonight and do a little filming and we'll see what this looks like. So this is the Halo View Night King all-in-one starlight backup camera. Let's see how it works later on. Okay, it's the next morning and uh, I'm going to be showing you quickly some video I shot and what I found out to my surprise was my backyard's darker than I thought. This is the uh, Night King from Halo View. They call it their Starlight backup camera. It uses that technology, the Starvis technology from Sony. But it needs, it needs at least starlight, decent starlight. And you have to understand, I'm in a city, bright lights from over there, and I didn't realize how dark my backyard was. I could not take a picture with my really nice Nikon that I used for Milky Way photography. It was so dark back there. A canopy of trees all over. So there was no starlight coming down. So I found out quickly uh, the camera struggled to get much of an image. It did, and I'll show you some here. Um, uh, I, I filmed with the, with the van lights turned on, then I turned them off, and then you can see the monitor, and then you can see what's going on. So I quickly found out that uh, the darkness was exceeding its capabilities. Nothing wrong with it. It just I was putting it in a situation where it couldn't really work. Just like I did a review of a portable air conditioner that people think can cool down a whole van, and it really can't because it has a small number of BTU compared to a normal air conditioner. So you have to use things realistically. Came got up this morning at a little after four. And I tried this and it works. My suggestion is with this camera, if you are in a campground or a Cracker Barrel, especially a Cracker Barrel or truck stop or some rest areas that are lit up like crazy, you can just turn this on. It'll use very little electricity. You usually have everything dark, all the windows darkened out. So you're inside, you hear something, you hear someone try to open your door, turn your monitor on. This will immediately pair and um, you can look outside and see what's going on. Plus, if you have an SD card in the uh, micro SD card in the monitor, it's going to be recording as well. Um, so you'll be fine if there's decent light. And you can find that out before you go to sleep. Turn the monitor on, look and see, and go, wow, I, I can see clearly. And if you're in the right situation, you'll be fine. If you're in a darker situation, what I did was I simulated a motion light. So I, I got one of these little battery lights, and I turned it on, pretended it was a motion light. And so when I did that up here, I found out, it, it worked out great. So my suggestion is if you use this and it's very dark, and some of people do this anyway, they have permanently mounted or they'll put a magnetic thing like this. It's a motion light. So if somebody comes by or a big bear comes by, it's going to kick it off and you can set the sensitivity. You probably won't even know it because it's, you'll be in a darkened room. But if you hear sounds, hit that monitor, turn it on, and you'll see quickly what's going on out there. The person will probably be gone by then, but you'll have a recording you could look at if you needed to. So um, that's how I envision using the new Night King uh, camera. If you're in a very dark situation, get that motion light on. Some people have them on all the time, no matter where they are. But if you're at a typical, like I, I'm repeating myself here, but the Cracker Barrels and um, uh, truck stops and places like that, Walmarts, uh, you're going to be fine because there's so much light you're going to see clearly with this. So there's a, a quick review of the new Halo View Night King all-in-one starlight camera. It really does work. You just have to make sure you set up the scenario right. Thanks for watching.